one of the reasons why these um, hog here, is it hog? Um, uh, ox. Ox, the best, because it's, it's got spring to it. If it were too soft, like squirrel, you would put too much on and you wouldn't be able to control it so well. Uh, so you need something stiff enough to, have it, uh, to shove it around and, and move those puddles around quickly. But if it were too um, uh, stiff, like a hog here, then it would be, um, it would probably leave um, striation marks, brush marks, which as we can sand it out. That's a bit too stiff, really. I think I put too much hole in it. So I'm going to mix up another batch of um, four to one size and dilute this a bit. It's just going to be a bit too awkward to handle. But you can just add water to, no. to that one, no? Not really, no. Um, Sexler thinks she can join us. Oh really? Oh. Well, best of luck to her because we're not having much luck here. <laughs> you can tell here that we're having problems with the yeah. I think it's this end for some weird reason. I'll just try to open up again. Okay, so um, four to one. It's just that I, I'm pretty sure it's because I've got too much bowl in. Mm. Probably about 20% too much, it just, just made it a little bit awkward to use. If you just added size in, then that would ruin the 4 to 1 mix. Right. So you've got to keep that 4 yeah, to 1. Yeah, it would in terms of proportion. But it'd be super sticky. I'll hand this around and you can all well, I trust my icon to you. You can all have a go at brushing it on. It's quite difficult to scrape off the excess bowl, so don't be too sloppy with it because you're just creating a lot of work for yourself unnecessarily. So if you got your gesso board quite rough, so water gilding would be more kind of rescuing your no. roughness, no? Not at all. <laughs> it looks as though it's going to fill all your sins over. <laughs> I hope. So. I'm afraid not. Though. No. <laughs> no, the, um, I suppose if you didn't burnish it, your sins could remain hidden until the Day of Judgment, but um, uh, if you're going to burnish, it, it, it really compresses the the bowl, and any scratches showing up in your soul and your in your um, in your gesso will, will be revealed for all to see. So. I think of each layer as your children and your children's children, and each generation thereafter. That's it. Yeah. Now some people don't like the high burnish, so what you can do is just, um, once you've laid with the gold, you can just polish it with your big um, gilder's mop, the, the squiddle one, and you can get a sort of a, a gentle sheen on it. Um, or you can, there's a, a gilder, a professional gilder I met on the train once, and she's since did something for Marta, my sister. And she said, oh, the gilding's no problem, it's not their skill. The skill is messing up the gilding afterwards and that's how, <laughs> how to patina it and work it, put waxes on and, yeah. and model it. Yeah, that's the skill, like a furniture restorer. He's got to sort of blend everything and give it, give it, give it a patina of, of life. 
Now I've seen gold leaf in different colors, not just the silver, but the like red gold. And That's right. Yeah. Have you ever used it? Um, in combination I have, but you can, yeah. So that's, that's your first layer. Mm -hmm. um, so you just keep going until it's all opaque. So you, you, do, you don't want to, like, that's, that's wet and shiny. You don't want to lay it on what's wet and shiny. Right. But that side there I started, that's, mm -hmm. that's ready. Mm -hmm. So just once the wetness is gone. Mm -hmm. Can it over dry, do you need, or do you need to keep going? Uh, no, not like gesso, where you get bubbles if you over dry. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. But, um, so just let it dry a little bit, let the shine go. Yeah. 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 Basically, you do it with your own now. Now I have. Um, you've got bowl, have you? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you might you might as well learn to mix your own, really. Right. Um, you can use my yellow if you want, um, but it's important to learn to mix your own and get the feel for the the right consistency. Um, but you haven't got size, have you? So you can use the size that I've made here. Okay. Um, so. Um, have you got containers? Yeah. Okay. 